hey guys welcome back to next gen block and in this video i want to show you how you can adjust speed in vsdc video editor pro version now it's actually super easy to adjust speed in vsdc pro so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now when i say adjust speed the obvious question is of what so you can adjust speed of any object like video image text rectangle ellipse etc using this particular technique and this technique is called time remapping all right and to demonstrate this i have already imported a demo image in the editor so this is my demo image present right here so first of all you need to double click on your object in my case it is my image next go to add object go to movement select movement and now click on ok now create a movement so let me just move my image from this particular position to this particular position right here and so now if i just quickly play the video for you so this is the initial position of my image and this is the final position of my image perfect all right now if you want to adjust the speed of this moving image or if you want to adjust the speed of a moving object you need to click on this movement layer which is present right here next look inside the properties window and right here you will find the movement effect settings all right and inside this movement effect settings you will find this time remapping option so you need to click on the three dots which is present on the extreme right of the time remapping option and the moment you click on this three dots you will see this graph opening up right here now if you want to adjust the speed of any moving object you need to create two keyframes in your graph so this is very important you need to keep this in mind if you want to adjust the speed of any object you need to create two keyframes in your graph so i will show you how you can create the keyframes so first of all the duration of my image in the timeline is 10 seconds all right so keep this in mind so at 0 seconds my image is right here and at 10 seconds my image is right here so 5 seconds is the middle so i would like to create my first keyframe at 4 seconds all right so let me just place the cursor at 4 seconds so as you can see in position my cursor is now placed at four seconds now to create a keyframe at this particular position you need to click on this particular option right here which says insert point to current position so click on this option and right here a keyframe has been added i don't know if you can see this or not but a keyframe has been added at four seconds now i would like to add my second keyframe at six seconds so let me just place my cursor at six and at position as you can see it is showing six seconds and once again click on this option which says insert point to current position and the moment you click on this option a second keyframe has been added at six seconds so i have added two keyframes in my graph and i keep saying this um, you need to add two keyframes to adjust speed of any moving object so now i have actually created a diagram for you guys to make you understand how this thing actually works so first of all if you have created an acute angle you can slow the speed of the moving object so this is the first thing all right now acute angle um, what you need to do first of all is you need to move this first keyframe at 50 so if you look at the y-axis we have 0 50 and 100 so move the first keyframe at 50 right about here all right and now um, you need to consider this 50 line as your zero degree all right you need to consider this 50 line as your zero degree and now consider this particular angle from the first keyframe to the second keyframe and if you look 
at this particular angle it pretty much forms like this all right so this is the 50 mark this uh, this line which is at the bottom and uh, the this is the first keyframe and this is the second keyframe if you look right here in the graph so this is the 50 mark this is the first keyframe and this is the second keyframe and this forms an acute angle all right and if you form an acute angle it means that at this particular position the the moving object will slow down so let me just play the video for you all right so let me just pull down the second keyframe a little below to make the acute angle a little bit shorter right about here and now if i just quickly play the video for you so first the uh, image moves at a particular speed then it slows down and then it moves again at the same speed right till the end so if you form an acute angle right here the speed of the moving object will slow down i know it looks uh, really um, uh, really a small change but if you form an acute angle the uh, speed of the image will slow down all right so this was the first thing let's now move on to the second diagram that is 90 degree tilted and it will you know result in fast speed so if you want to move the image faster you need to tilt or you need to create a 90 degree tilt angle so i will show you how you can create a 90 degree tilt angle you need to drag the second keyframe and create so this is 90 degrees all right i hope you understand this 50 mark is the zero degree mark and this is a 90 degree angle you cannot go beyond 90 degree even if i try it will not go uh, you know on that side so 90 degrees is the max which you can go but uh, don't you know don't do it 90 degree unless you want the object to move really fast so don't uh, do it 90 degree uh, rather you just uh, you know do it little closer to 90 degrees somewhere around let's say 80 degrees so this is an 80 degree angle and so now if i just quickly play the video for you so it is moving at a uh, you know one particular speed and then it just kind of kind of jumps and then again moves at a similar speed uh, i don't know how, mu how much my recorder is able to capture this particular thing but uh, if you create a 90 degree tilted angle the the movement of your um, object will you know become really fast so as you can see it just moves really fast at this particular position so the theory goes if it is an acute angle you can slow down the speed of the moving object if it is uh, tilted towards 90 degree you can you know uh, uh, make the uh, speed really fast of the moving object the third is zero degrees it will just simply stop the movement so i will show you at zero degrees what we are basically doing is i am bringing down this second keyframe and placing it at the same level as that of my uh, first keyframe so my first keyframe is at 50 my second keyframe is at 50 and what do you think is going to happen so it will basically stop the movement will stop so initially my image is moving at a particular speed and then at this particular speed the movement just stops and then again it continues towards the end so again remember the theory and try it you will understand it if it is an acute angle the speed will slow down if it is tilted towards 90 degree it will kind of the speed of the moving object will fasten and if it is a zero degree the movement will simply stop so as you saw right here the movement just stopped it was kind of moving and then it just stopped and then again it kind of resumed moving upwards and finally we have the fourth uh, we have the fourth diagram and that is negative degree and which equals to reverse movement so basically if i just pull down the second keyframe below 
all right if i just pull down the second keyframe below like this now what do you think is going to happen what will happen is it will just move in reverse so let me just show you the image is going in one direction like this and now it is the negative degree so it is just reversing and then again it goes back up all right so this 50 forms are zero degree um, and if from this particular point if it is an acute angle you can slow down the speed of the moving object if it is tilted towards 90 degree you can you know fasten up the speed of the moving object if it if you place the second keyframe at the same level of the first keyframe then it will kind of um, you know the movement will stop basically at that particular position and if you pull down the second keyframe below and make it a negative degree uh, the movement will simply reverse as you saw right here all right so in this particular case the movement reversed and that's because the second keyframe was in negative so this is how you can actually adjust speed of a moving object in vsdc video editor pro version so i know it may sound confusing but it is not actually um if you just uh, you know see this diagram a couple of times and try out the things uh, you will understand uh, what all this is about um, uh, it it looks little complicated but if you give it a try you will understand everything within a span of couple of uh, minutes maybe uh, all right so this is how you can adjust speed in vsdc video editor pro version do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching